Hello everybody, I'm Henry Li. Now we are preparing a class that I'm going to teach tomorrow um, in the style of boneless penny. Boneless penny is kind of a gombi uh, outline style that uh, we do the, the, the color before outline. Um, we do need to prepare a template like this, same as gombi. Uh, online template. You can develop this from a photograph, from reference, um, or you can purchase it or download it from internet. You know. Um, anyway, this this painting is maple with uh, sparrows. Um, I I made uh, uh, I enlarge it from the uh, the handout, uh, which is uh, a standard. Uh, uh, this is the computer page, right? So I, I um, used a function called the poster print uh, in the uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader. Um, there is a link I sent you in the, in the handout uh, email. You can follow it to learn how to do that. Uh, if you don't have the Adobe Acrobat Reader, you can download it for free. Um, anyway, so uh, this is a, a software function that you can make a, uh, a poster size print out, enlarge it you know, like this. It, it, it even give you the cut lines so you can uh, just put it together like this. So this is what we call the electric uh, template, uh, the digital template, sorry, uh, digital template. So this is uh, uh, useful because we can if something uh, goes wrong, we can just you know, reprint it. And the, in the painting process, I need two pieces. One is under the painting. In, in, um, in Gombi painting, we use a pencil and an ink outline, so we don't need that uh, to, to, to be uh, underneath. But uh, uh, it's a good idea that, uh, especially if you're a beginner, you're not good at the join. Uh, you just put... Uh, a, a template exactly the same size as the painting under under the uh, uh, under the paper because the rice paper is transparent, very uh, different than one of the reasons you know, why uh, some artists uh, watercolors tend to rice paper because it's easier to transfer uh, to trace. Right, you don't need. Uh, light box. So I will cut the painting paper a little larger than the uh, about half inch or, or larger um, than the desired size and make sure the, the uh, smooth side up the painting side is always smooth so I'm going to uh, use this tape, it's called uh, uh, Water Activate, Water Activate uh, uh, paper tape, or maybe craft tape. There's a very similar one, it's a little broader and uh, it can be used um, as well. It's for packaging, you know, you, you just use some water to activate it. The reason I use this is because we're going to uh, stretch this paper with water. If, if you just tape it with a um, scotch tape, it will work, but uh, not perfectly, you know, with, with like without a bubble and anything. So we wet it with the water, and then we tape it with water tape on the drawing board. On the drawing board. You can also use something like a plastic or even uh, I got the, this, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, metal um, for printing, making, maybe have something like this. Uh, just some surface you can mount it on. Uh, typically we just use uh, this, this uh, drawing board, sketch board, wood. You can get it from art supplies stores or maybe just a plywood, you can uh, do it yourself. Anyway, so I used water to 
dampened the to wet. Pretty wet. Yeah. Just just use this uh, mounting brush, wet mounting brush. No no paste. No no paste. No no adhesive. Just the clean water. And uh, just uh, you know squeeze out extra water, and then take excessive water out. It doesn't matter, I think. Just leave it on, will take maybe okay. But uh, I think it's, uh, it dries faster, maybe. The reason I do this before the class is because it, it, it will take, uh, depends on your climate, it could take hours to dry, right? So I don't want to waste time to do that uh, to be uh, in the class. But I want to show you guys this process. How I did it before the class. I can show you this video. Okay. And cut this piece, this uh, tape, into uh, four pieces. Okay. So this is a new one. I don't know how to open it yet. Oh, okay. There we go. I think we'll just cut it like like this. Huh? It's easy. So measure it. The four sides. One on top. One on the bottom. And I need a cut maybe an inch extra. Right here. To um, activate the adhesive, you can use a smaller brush. I think you don't have to use a big brush. Just use a clean, clean brush with some water. Wet the brush and then just uh, activate the adhesive. And just do it on this. Oh, I don't want to. Put the adhesive on the paper, I mean, it came out. So we just do it on the side. I used to use this for packaging. I use, uh, I forgot I, how I use it. Um, I think uh, it's just on, on the tap water, maybe? I don't know. Just you have to figure out how to. Work with this. Uh -oh. <coughs> it stick on the wet. That's how nice this paper is. The scotch tape won't work on wet paper, right? So I need to align it carefully. So let's do this side. You, you just need to fix at least one side. And uh, <coughs> let's see this. Maybe the the short side should be easier, but uh, I, I think it's a little challenge to do the long side first. This is my first time to tear. I try to align this edge with the actual painting. Align this edge with the actual painting surface, I mean painting uh, frame, to, to make a clean cut. If I have to do the, the, the background wash, I will have a nice frame kind of when I, I I think I have to cut it off. I don't know how to uh, release it. Is that permanent? Maybe I I find it out. But easiest way maybe just cut it off, and then you you can soak it to remove the residual. Maybe that's how it works. If you have better way, just let me know. Because this tape is the craft. Uh, for craft uh, stretching paper, this it's uh, you can find on Amazon. You know the the description says this is used for stretching paper with you know, water. So this is very handy. Let me see. I need to do this. So this side, just 
just stretch it. Alright? You don't have to really um, the beauty of the rice paper, you know, for mounting, I think it, uh, it will stretch when it gets dry. So a little bubble there is fine. I think you will not really. Let's do this. I just water this line. Just clean water. And maybe I just do half and half. See if it works better. So this is dry. I can I can handle it easier. And just align this line. So this I frame this nicely. And I put this on. So it stick on the on the paper now. And I stretch a little bit. Yeah, then I think you can see I stretch a little bit. You don't have to you don't have to use much force I think because it will shrink. And then I turn it to this side and then I wet this adhesive wet activate adhesive and then I wrap it. If my board is larger it might it might be easier or my painting is smaller so you don't have to do it on the side. Alright you can just do it on the extra margin on the board. So this is the maybe I should enhance this side just make sure it stays. You know this, the paper may stretch quite a bit so you want to make sure it's secured. I think it's pretty secure. Um, I, I think I got the lesson here because when I when I watered that paper there's some stickiness here so I need to clean this just use this make sure it's not destroying my paper you won't notice but it will become a water resist maybe we'll see so make sure the adhesive doesn't um, enter the uh, painting surface alright so next piece is this top I think this this seems working so I just use water along this line and then I use dry tape put on that and fix this my arm. Okay, then drop it. This way. Make sure that my brush stays inside. Not on the table so it will not stain the, the, the painting surface. And then I can do this. Maybe, Maybe not necessarily. We can just uh, to be sure. Okay. To make sure it is firm, and yeah, the, the, the surface of, of the table should be clean. I mean, you can see some color already got on my on my paper. Um, it's okay. Sometimes it's happy accident. Okay, and this let's just do this. I think uh, if you've got a basin or something, you can just skip, skim on, on top of the water. If someone knows how to wet this, then you know, or let others know, other than this uh, brushing. It's a little messy to, to deal with. <laughs> Looks messy, but uh, once I got used to it, I would feel more comfortable. It's you know always a learning curve. You learn from mistakes. How else we can learn? 
by not by trying you know, an error. So if something goes wrong, I'll let you know. And I won't even show you this video, right? So at least I will see if it stretch. And it could be used to, to stretch, um, like, uh, you know, you, you dye the, the tone, if, if you tint the, the paper, you need to do this, or you use a uh, size, all in, in the glue. Um, you can size paper and then you need to stretch it, right, to, to be flat. Uh, just painting, you know, just doing a, a nice painting. If you want, if you prefer um, a uh, solid, solid uh, uh, surface, and uh, with your design, either you know, with or without without the design, you can use this process to to see. How it okay, I I see that there's pretty much air there. Uh, if it doesn't work, I will I will let you know. You know, maybe we'll do another one. So I'll stretch a little more. So. Let's wait and see. For for um, absorbent paper, I know the stretch is quite strong. For this is like sized paper, not absorbent paper. I didn't expect it so much uh, stretch, but uh, let's see if we can get rid of the the um, wave. Maybe in two hours. All right, uh, about uh, 40 mi 45 minutes uh, from uh, the last uh, episode. Uh, it's almost dry, and you can see this uh, main area is uh, all flat perfectly. And only a little bit remaining on this corner. I wish it would go further, but uh, even if uh, like that, I can work with that yeah, because these are and important areas, uh, empty areas. So the main areas are completely flat and you can feel the, the uh, tension uh, stretch. I didn't put any fixture on the uh, design, but uh, I don't think it will move. So it, um, I can just paint on that with this uh, reference uh, on the side. You can have a same size reference uh, by the way, this is the scroll I did uh, uh, about uh, 10 years ago in a workshop uh, on silk. Yeah, so that's the original painting I did based on the same template. Um, we'll do another one this time on paper. So, Looking forward to seeing you in the class.